may be seeing a cool down coming very soon. Here is ABC 7 Chief Meteorologist Doppler Dave Spillman. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you what, Paul, the car wash is going to be busy tomorrow. Everybody's going to be trying to get that dust off the car, get a clean car. I've got one of those big dusters, so I'll be dusting off my car <laughs> tomorrow. Just been one of those days, you know, and it's going to be busy for a lot of folks, you know, and just cleaning up around the house and dusting the house with all that dust and sand uh, hitting everywhere. There you can see the wind gusts, and they're coming down, which is good news. They're still coming down up in the mountains. I saw peak wind gusts up in Rito, so 62 miles an hour. Uh, they're down to 37. Uh, right now. These were the peak wind gusts today and out at the El Paso Airport. You know, we talked about since Friday, we'd have gusts at 45. We hit 44 today. White sands at 55. And you see along the pass, look at that, humming along at 82 miles per hour over hurricane force winds up there. Dell City, you folks weren't as bad at uh, 35 miles per hour, but certainly there has been a windy day. Visibility, no issues. Look at this. Uh, we're seeing 10 miles out there. Uh, that's the best. And we're actually down to one mile visibility this afternoon as we were tracking all that blowing dust and sand. Well, the front has passed by Phoenix and Tucson. They're enjoying 60s right now. Out ahead of it, we're in the 70s, but that front continues to blow through here. And as you get up tomorrow morning, it will be cooler and it will be cooler throughout the day. And I know a lot of you folks looking forward to it. Here's a look at our wind gust tracker. And this is 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. The winds aren't going to do a whole lot. I do expect some breezy conditions tomorrow. And where you see the colors out in our eastern counties, that's where we're going to see some of the stronger winds. But with some of the cooler temperatures, the winds blowing a little bit. We'll have some minor wind chills to deal with. But Again, some of you folks will need the light jacket. Others going to be in shorts and short sleeves throughout the day. It's just how it goes. Now, Thursday on Halloween, 12 o'clock lunchtime, wind's not going to be much of a problem. And we don't want to deal with any strong winds as we make our way to, you know, the trick-or-treaters and the fall festival activities going on. There you can see in the afternoon hours, again, the winds should not be an issue for your Thursday. Light jacket for some tomorrow. Notice we'll have lots of sunshine by 5 o'clock. We're going to be looking at a temperature of 67 degrees, so that will be certainly nice for a change. Halloween outlook, we're still anticipating 73. Last year, we had a lot of sunshine, but it was a colder day. We were at 59 degrees. All right, so jump ahead. November 4th through November 8th. Rainfall. You can see we're going to be in a wetter period as we make our way into next week. And if we run our latest model, this will be updated. We'll continue to keep you up to date. You can see the potential for rainfall as we look ahead to next Monday and Tuesday. So 72 tomorrow, 73 on Thursday, 80 once we head into Friday. Slight chance of rain as we make our way into Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then notice early next week as we bring in this next system, which will give us a little bit better chance for some rain. We drop our temperatures to about 60 by Tuesday. Adrian, what's going on?